in this video I will show you a model of uh, a SAR generator, a high voltage SAR generator built with uh, very simple elements of uh, SIM power systems of Simulink. Uh, I've done a, a complete block uh, where you can get the connections to the load and you've got here some control devices. Uh, let's start by watching uh, what kind of sort uh, voltage is the one I'm, I'm creating here. Well, as you can see, I'm creating a standard sort 150 more or less uh, sort voltage. You, you've got here the the rise in time. Uh, we can zoom around this. Mm and see how is this rise in time you can see it is very close and very narrow and we've got also the tail of the of the pools uh, it, it is quite uh, interesting because this type of uh, element uh, doesn't doesn't exist in, in simulink and it can be very useful if you are trying to perform some kind of analysis on electrical machines uh, transformers and and so on well, this conditional commutator is the one where you define the threshold level you want for your SART pills. You can put here 300,000 volts. We can simulate again. It is an old computer, so it, it will take some time. Not a, not a very long one, but uh, some time and you will see that now uh, nothing has changed except the value of the maximum voltage that is uh, reached by the search during the rising time we go here well you can see we put now a search of 300,000 volts well you can see also I've got here Con to constant this is the the element that powers the generator it is uh, with a one value to turn on the generator and this is to keep the explosor that you will see here inside in the second layer of, of this model uh, to keep the explosor open at the beginning well if you go then to the second layer you can see more or less the same but only some uh, external devices in this case an RSV stable this RSV stable is used to hold the two switches that will be used one for the power of, of the search generator and the other one to emulate the behavior of the explosive to keep them uh, in a stable position. If you don't use this type of uh, device and you simply try to control the switches that you will see in the third layer of, of the model, uh, they will close and open several times. Hmm? So this is just to hold the switches in, in the right position. Let's go then to the power system that you can see here. Well I've tried to reproduce as close as possible uh, the structure of uh, an actual SART uh, generator. So I've got here an AC voltage source that powers the whole system. I've got a diode to rectify this voltage. This resistance uh, here is the internal resistance of uh, the power source and we've got two switches. This first switch is the power switch. It means that it if I close here, I will start rectifying this voltage on charging the charge capacitor. This second switch represents the explosion of the SAR generator. So the idea is uh, pretty simple. First, I, I give energy to this capacitor through this switch and once I've reached the voltage 
I want to discharge it is the time instant when I will open sorry when I will close here to emulate the action of the explosor of course uh, if I close the explosor the, the explosor here because I'm discharging I have to open this other switch to uh, uh, prevent the influence of the left part of the model so they will have a logical condition to have opposite uh, actions if this one is closed this will be automatically opened and everything will be kept in the right positions by means of the bis table I've got uh, in the next line you can see going uh, backward and forward in, in the video uh, I've tried to build a uh, standard SART pulse of 1.2 rising time uh, and 50 uh, time uh, T1, T2, you know, they are the values that usually define uh, uh, an standard SAR generator, well in this case T T1 is the rising time of uh, 1.2 uh, microseconds and 50, uh, 50 microseconds is the time from the peak to the 30% of the maximum value. These are approximate values, you have to play a little bit with this resistance, this uh, other resistance and of course this discharge uh, capacitor sorry we've got here well we could go back then to this part I've left these two outputs if for the case you want to measure the values of currents and voltages in the switches you've got the two connections of the SAR generator in this case here you've got a measurement of the discharge capacitor the holding of the switches and if I go finally back again I've got uh, the, the control of the whole uh, element it, it is uh, being used in my case in, in a PhD thesis to excite uh, the models of uh, transformers to analyze high frequency components so I think this can be useful for you and it is really easy to understand and, and very, very very easy to, to build well, I, I hope it, it will be useful for you. Bye-bye.